Debbie Blanks and Sublimation DTF Pin Create members. It's Dawn and we are doing Feature Friday. And today we are going to feature the different flags that we have available. So we have two different styles available and I'm going to show you both. And then I'm going to do one of each. We've, I've done tutorials on these before, but it's been a while. So I thought might as well just do it again while we're doing our Feature Friday. So Elena has these nice uh, linen type flags available. They are where it's two different, so they are considered two-sided um, flags. So these are kind of a white linen-y material, really nice. And these are from Elena, pnwblankselena.com. And then Anna has these thicker, um, more what I would, kind of say a neoprene type material. Um, so two, two different types. They are a little different sizes. This one is a little wider and shorter, while this one is longer and thinner. So a little different sizes there, but really just personal preference on what you like. Um, so I did one of each. So this is the neoprene one. And this is a design by Maple Dot Designs, one of our approved designers. Isn't that really cute? That's really, really cute. And then I did this one on the more uh, linen-y type material. And this is a design from Jessica Southern Strands, one of our approved designers. And this one I just did on one side. Um, but how cute is that too? Look at my colors. So I use Cyclone 2.0 inks. Um, and someone had asked in the last video for me to mention <clears throat> what I use. So for this kind of substrates, I use uh, A sub 125. For my tumblers, I use A sub 105. But for this, I use 125. And then um, of course I'm using my Cascadia Pro heat press. And Anna and Elena both have these on pre-sale right now, pre-order right now. Um, and I've done videos on the Cascadia Pro, but I absolutely love my Cascadia Pro. So we're going to do one of each together, and we'll start with this cutie design by Bev uh, with Soul and Grace Designs, another one of our approved designers. How cute is that for Christmas? And we're going to do it on the linen-y type flag that Elena has available. So all I did was make it just a little bit bigger, of course, than my flag. And I probably made it a little too wide, but that's okay. I'd rather it be too big than not big enough. Um, and I'm using 13 by 19 paper to do this. Um, so I'm just going to go around and tape it up because I don't want it to move on me. And I already pre-pressed everything, so. Uh, and then we're gonna put our blowout paper down and put our flag on. And then my blowout paper on top. Um, let me get my cut blowout paper on specific. Give it a little lid. Not as wide. Let me get that. on. Make sure that it's on there because we're going to put the blowout paper on top and bottom. And then we just slide our tray back in. And then I have my auto feature off, but, and I already did my pressure. So we're doing a medium pressure. Uh, my pressure is on three. So I love that it gives me this count because I use, like for DTF, I use pressure five. For flags and stuff, three. So um, love that it gives me that and then it's going to count down and then we'll come back. So it gives us a little warning. Three, two, one. Open up my drawer. They are a little hot. I'm going to take off any of my tape. Look at the pretty blues on that. That is so, so pretty. 
Like I said, this is Bev with uh, Soul and Grace. This was Jessica with Southern Strands. And then uh, Crystal with Maple Dot. So then we're going to do another Maple Dot one. And we're doing, um, I love gnomes. So we're going to do this one, which is just super cute. That's going to be my little fall uh, flag for my house. So with these flags, I pre-pressed it, and this part does press together, but you just take um, some little tweezers, and it, and it comes undone. And I just kind of do that to get the other side undone, and then it just opens back up. And, but when you press, you can actually, you can put something in there if you wanted. Keep it from closing. I'm like, this is a little long. Sorry. So I take some paper. Um, we'll do that part last. So I'm just going to tape this down. And this one, we're going to do both sides. So I'm going to tape down the first side. And same thing with this one. I just... Um, made it just a little bit bigger than my flag and this one I could have probably made I think it's gonna get all on there I might could have made it just a little half inch longer just to make sure but like I said if you want to keep from having to like use the tweezers to um, and do that you can just put your little piece of paper on each side just a little Okay, so same thing, just gonna put it on my press, put that paper on the top and bottom. And you can also, with the Cascadia Pro, you can order different um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I totally lost my plan of train of thought. You can order different size bottoms. So if you don't want, like if you're doing shirts and you want a smaller bottom, or um, Anna's got a ton of different ones available. Uh, I don't have them all right now on my mind, sorry. Uh, but I did want to bring that up. But like I said, the Pink Cascadia Pro uh, heat press is on pre-order from Anna and Elena. So make sure to check those out. Um, love my Cascadia Pro. But while that's going, I'll be right back. Oh, and I have my heat press set at 380 for 60 seconds. So I sh probably should have said that earlier. So 380 for 60 seconds. We get our countdown warning. Let us know. Three, two, one. Let's bring this down. cute is that okay so then we're gonna do the other side and they cool off really fast so then we're gonna do our other side same thing we're just gonna tape it down really good get it all on there And I just tape down all four sides just because I don't want it to shift. If it shifts, it's going to cause that ghosting appearance where you get that double image. So, we just don't want that. Put that blowout paper down. I'm going to put my little things in here. Here, make sure it's on there. Okay. And then we're going 
go for our 60 seconds on this side and then we'll be back. All right, we're about to go off. our other side so these are super super those are so cute i love it i'm gonna go hang it up so this is maple dot and this is the neoprene material um garden flag that anna has pwblanksanna.com this is our more linen-y cloth like material that elena has pwblanksalena.com and this is beth with soul and grace cute is that this is our clothy linen-y one with Jessica Southern strands and then this is our new frame type one that Anna has from Maple Dot so two different um, styles of flags available available from Anna or Elena so check those out thank you thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel Come join us on Facebook for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Happy pressing!